Since 2013, Dalma's businessman, Jerry Mahlangu, has been unknowingly paying for a car he doesn't own or drive. Around 6,000 rand has been debited from his account every month. A call from his bank led to this startling discovery. Mahlangu then approached the authorities. The cops saw the car in the opposite yard and then went over to go speak to the councillor, who was sleeping at the time. I was there with the police when they knocked on the door. They asked her whose car it was, and she said it was hers. Then they asked her for documentation to prove that it was really hers, but when they checked the papers, it was my name that appeared on there. This car, which matches the vehicle he's been unknowingly charged for, was found in his neighbor's yard who also happens to be local municipal councillor Tandi Shavangu. When we tried to get Shavangu's side of the story, she refused to leave her house. Or take our calls. You have reached the mailbox of... We later found out that she claims Maslangu agreed to pay the car installments on her behalf. But Maslangu's wife denies this. It makes me so angry. My wish is that she goes to jail because what she did was cruel. What if my husband had a heart attack? He would die and leave me. What would happen to me? Shabangu, meanwhile, continues to report for work at the Victor Kaya municipality, which says it won't take disciplinary action against her until it's proven that she is guilty as charged. Our understanding is that on this current matter, it's a matter between her and Mr. Matlango for the release of, of her car. That's how it is. Now, it is impossible to detect or to determine whether it's fraud or what, because it's a, it could be it's an agreement between, between two parties. Matlango says paying more than 180,000 rand for a car he does not own not only put a strain on his business, but also caused his family life great harm. He says all he wants is justice. Tabang Masanabo, Dalmas.